Duty Voxe, a German, F. Rono. Duty Voxe, a German, F. Rono. Duty Voxe, a German, F. Rono. Duty Voxe, family, hope, honor, servitude, family, hope, honor, servitude, family, hope, honor, servitude.
You have made it far. Mother and father must be pleased with your courage and honor. Yet, all is for naught without saving the child. Vognot has her, and is building a machine to extract her power. A process she will never survive. Take this. It's the final piece you will need. Please, stop him. Vagnar was just through. He has my child, taking her to his power extrapolator. He wants her plutonium, but she'll never survive the extraction. Please, find her. Stop him, before it's too late. Please. Let's be reasonable. You've got to let me get her out of that... thing. Oh no, I need her power. It's wasted on her anyhow. I'll put it to real use. Vognot, don't! Sorry. Too late. Hmm? What the...? Well, that was easy. Welcome, I must tell you. In service to Father, my Octavator kin and I have seen much within these grand walls. Most of it glorious, yet some tragic as well. It is the planet Spiro Five where you now find yourself. Entombed in the fortress, Armacrog. Created by Father as one home for science magic, goodwill, and servitude. In Armacrog, we enjoyed a peaceful existence, safe from the mongrels, wandering Galatzor, and other dangers indigenous to Spiro V. Then, one day, without warning, Armacrog fell under attack by a fierce warrior who, while lacking ultimate power, possessed intelligence sufficient to find a weakness in Armacrog and breach its defenses. Father and mother, peaceful as they were, knew this day might come. This interloper, a lost soul disfigured by ego and envy, sought the power of Armacrog for his own gain, and saw mother as the key to this power. 
father put forth a brave defense, but alas, was struck down by his foe. Struck down, but his essence lives on here in Armacog. My Octavator sibling told you of the attack upon Spiro 5, I presume. Allow me to continue. Our fortress had been breached, but Father was prepared. Designed with an armor crock was a hidden defense mechanism Father added to ensure the safety of his planet, his people, his family. The intruder had attacked, believing it was Mother who was key to the power he desired. But she knew the truth. The power resides in their infant daughter, P. Hiding P from sight, Mother hurried to initiate Father's plan, but was interrupted just as she began the activation procedure. The intruder, called Vognat, saw Mother's empty shell and realized his mistake. She did not hold the power after all. There must be another. The child. Thank you. 
you know of Vognog, you, you know of the attack, uh, allow me to tell you what came next. Vognog, believing Mother was dead, began his search for the child. But Mother was still alive, in a fashion. She had used a soul transfer device to insert her being into the fortress, the first of a, of a, of a, of a two-step process which would activate Father's defense mechanism. Yes, she had narrowly escaped Vognog's blast, but the soul transfer device was destroyed, forever trapping her within the walls of Armacron. The original plan was for Father to use the soul transfer device to, to complete the first step. He would insert himself into Armacrog, while Mother would perform the second step, power up the machinery from the control panel located in the Emerald Room. However, with Father killed by Vognaut, Mother's only option was to inhabit the fortress herself and, 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 and hope that Father's spirit could somehow find a way to activate the console. Unlikely, yes, but this was her only hope. Thankfully, Father's spirit appears to have found a way.
Tommy Knot. You have saved my daughter with your acts of servitude and honor. P has given you her plutonium crystals, which will provide your planet with power for eternity. Because you have shown yourself to be a true hero, I can now give you what you need to complete your journey. A way home. Activate tower transformation. Giant robot mobilized and ready for takeoff. Thank you. Aha, Tommy Knot. So you think you're a hero? Just wait till I blast you and that baby back to Fiverr's Canyon. Huh? What the? Beaky. Hey, Tommy. I feel kind of funny. Beaky? You're alive! If by alive you mean hungry, then yeah, sure, I'm alive. Come on, little buddy. We're heading home. Mayday, mayday. Stuck in Sector 7, outside Darson's orb. Mayday, mayday. What do you know? It's Num Num! Mayday! Mayday! Beak Beak, change coordinates to Darshan's orb! Aye aye, Captain! <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Thank you. 